The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Jesus began to reproach the towns in which most of his miracles had been worked because they refused to repent. Alas for you, Chorazin. Alas for you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. And still, I tell you that it will not go as hard on Judgment Day with Tyre and Sidon as with you. And as for you, Capernaum, did you want to be exalted as high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have been standing yet. And still I tell you that it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom on Judgment Day as with you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading, we have heard how the people of Israel are being tormented, they are suffering, and are working as slaves in the land of Egypt under the new king or the new pharaoh. What is surprising before us is the people of Israel or Jacob, whom God had named Israel, he had not come on his own. It was God who told him to go into the land of Egypt and there I will make you a great nation. And not only that, God told him that I myself will accompany you. So we saw in the life of Jacob or Israel, he trusted the Lord and he came to Egypt. If he had not come to Egypt along with his family, probably they would have died in the land of wherever they were because of famine. Because they came to Egypt, God took care of them. And as long as Joseph was there, the Pharaoh knew him very well. They were all taken care. But the, when the Joseph died and the new Pharaoh was uh, governing Egypt, it all turned upside down. The privileges were all lost and the people of Israel were taken as or converted as slaves. So my dear brothers and sisters, when the Lord told Jacob that I myself will come down with you, I will make you into a great nation, and Jacob trusted. Because of his trust, the Lord is changing the entire scenario. The, it, is, it was clearly mentioned that the people of Israel were becoming into a great nation which was the promise of God. And secondly, God told them, I myself will bring you out. And today we see how God is designing his plan to bring them out. It is in and through the prophet Moses. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we cooperate, when we trust the Lord, when we walk confidently with the Lord, the Lord never lets us down. All that what he wants from us is to trust him unconditionally. That is what Jacob did and God is fulfilling his promise of making them into a great nation and bringing them out of slavery through the prophet Moses. Coming to the gospel passage of today, the people of Chorazin and Capernaum are not believing in Jesus. 
they are just a cold hearted people after having done so much miracles yet the faith of the people is null zero and that is what hurts Jesus very much and he says to them if all these things were to be done in Sodom and Gomorrah probably they would have repented and they would have not been destroyed of the sulfuric rain and we all know the sin of Sodom were very harsh but the Lord is condemning now and Chorazin more than Sodom. But why? What is the sin of these two cities? Their sins were three. The first sin was they forgot the responsibilities of a privileged people. The Lord had done numerous amounts of good works, miracles, healings. And these people, God gave them so many privileges after privileges. And yet, they refused to believe in. That was their first sin. They forgot the responsibilities of a privileged people. Second sin was a sin of indifference. After having done so much, they just remained indifferent. No reaction. The Lord says in the book of Revelation, you either be hot or cold. If you are lukewarm, I will just spit it out of my mouth. And this is what these people are. They are just remaining indifferent to the good works of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is what hurts Jesus a lot. They are not able to take a stand. They are trying to just dodge away, which is not uh, good or pleasing to Jesus and the third sin is the sin to do nothing just remaining as they are these three sins were were condemned or brought uh, Jesus more pain because of these three sins so my dear brothers and sisters we are also a privileged people the Lord gives us His grace, gives us His strength to the Eucharistic celebration. We are able to understand His word. We are able to participate. We have everything at our fingertips. But am I also like the people of uh, Chorazin or Capernaum, remaining indifferent, doing nothing about the word of God which comes to me or just forgetting my responsibility as a privileged person if I also continue to live and dwell in these three sins the Lord is also going to condemn us so my dear brothers and sisters let us rise up in faith in confidence let us trust the Lord as Jacob as Israel and the Lord will always bless us with his graces and healings and let us believe in the Lord and behave as a loving children of our Savior Jesus and let us take up a stand to be with Jesus to walk with Jesus and thus spread his love his peace and joy to our brothers and sisters may God give us the grace give us the strength to believe in the Lord to walk with him and be a blessing to our brothers and sisters. Amen.